our Shalom Amakim, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, HaKakadosh, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you fellow Akim out there pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. All right, it's your brother Kanak, and once again, I want to come to you brothers and uh, with another video. I pray that the video is edifying and uh, comforting to your spirit, you know, um, as, as you should know that we're in the last days, you know, I want to push that spirit out there. You know, once again, another video, you know, this is what we do. We, you know, we feed the flock of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And one thing that I want to uh, speak about, I want to speak about how, you know, serving the Lord is profitable. You know, and, uh, you know, two thirds of our people, they don't consider serving the Lord profitable. They don't consider, you know, serving the Lord, you know, you know, a benefit or advantage, you know, in their life, you know, because they're in a they're in a carnal mind frame. But we know, you know, and I'm speaking for myself, you know, you know, through testimony of other brothers, but more importantly, myself in this through, you know, the inspiration of the scriptures, we see that, you know, serving Yah Bashmasha is very profitable. Okay? All right, it's profitable in your situation right now. The Lord, he takes care of you. He, you know, he clothes you. You know, he, he gives you uh, what you need for the day. He gives you a daily bread. You're not starving. You know, uh, your rent's getting paid. You know, you know, we all do suffer, you know, certain, you know, tribulations. You know, we all go through certain things, but that's just a trial that we have to be tried. You know, you know, not saying... By saying that, at the same time, rather, when you really look at it, you really analyze it, the most High he takes care of you, you know, so it would definitely, <clears throat> it would definitely, you know, be to your benefit to serve Yah Bashim al Shai because it is profitable, okay? <clears throat> this is uh, Matthew 6 and 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of the most High and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay, clothing, raiment. You know, we have to understand that we're only here tempor temporarily. We're we're not here to set up a society. We're not here to have fame and glory in this society. Which, if you are faithful and diligent in the work of the Lord, the Lord will give you fame. He will give you glory. Okay, that that's also in the scriptures. You know, uh, what is that? Um, e, uh, Zephaniah three and nineteen. The Lord is going to give us fame. And glory in all the lands that we are put to shame, you know. But just even in your everyday, your everyday walk, okay, in this, you know, you're going to work, paying bills, you know, dealing with people, you know, the most high he takes care of you if you are taking care of his his business, you know, because we are a servant, you know, and as a servant or a slave, rather, okay, where do you get your nutrients from? Where where do you get um nurtured up? Where do you get taken care of? You get taken care of by your, your master. And Yahweh Shema Shai is our master. So if we take care of the things of Yahweh Shema Shai, he will make sure that we are taken care of. Okay? And not, uh, and not you know, and, and we can't be with a slack hand, basically. You know? And, and Salaki, I'm, you know, I'm all over the place with my words, but I pray, you know, that you brothers, you know, can understand, you know, uh, what I'm trying to what I'm what am I what what I'm trying to present to you. Okay, let's uh let's bring out some more scriptures, you know, and and just through my testimony, you know, the most high, you know, money you need money, the most high. I mean, literally, you know, uh, you know, I was down money, you know, to pay my pay my bills, and you know, I was just praying to the Lord, and instantly, instantly, the Lord, he he, you know, he sent somebody. Which I, if I were to tell you the story, you probably wouldn't believe it, you know, <laughs> and, and just sent me money, man. Just just like that. Man. Just just like that. Send me money. And I'm not talking about like a hundred dollars. OK. I'm talking a lot more than that. OK. And that was sufficient to get me through. OK. Um, through my day to get me through another day of pushing the word of Yah Bashim Because one thing you have to realize is that we are here to do the will of the Lord. We're not here to do our own will, our own will. Will have us off somewhere else, okay, in, in, a, in an island with women, okay, pina coladas, you know, in Thailand, you know, doing uh, doing a tour, a Southeast Asian tour, doing a tour of Europe, 
Okay, that's what I would be doing. I'll be I'll be traveling the world, you know, dealing with women, you know, having fun. But that's not once you once you realize that that is a, a low vibration and that all those things really are vain. OK, you trying to obtain wealth in this society, you trying to obtain some type of name in this society. Really, it's, it's, it's vain. It's vanity. You know, let me um, let me bring out this scripture real quick. This is Mark 8 and 36. This is uh Mark 8 and 36 for uh let me start up actually. This is Mark 8 and 34 it says it says, and when he called his people, called the people unto him, his disciples also he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And part of uh serving the Lord is uh pushing out his content. He's well pleased with you, you know, doing his will. And this is part of his will. Okay, and part of that will is denying yourself, you know? Because you, you, you can come up with, you can conceptualize many different things for you to do in that day. Okay, oh, you know what? I wanted to, you know, I wanted to drink. Okay, I wanted to uh, watch TV. You know, my, you know, I wanted to deal with this woman. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. But if you actually put Yahweh Shema Shai first, okay, all these things will come unto you. Okay, you you'll get blessings. Okay, the Lord He will bless your basket, so to speak. It is not to the point to where you're doing it for, you know, money. You're doing it for you know, uh, uh you know, extra credit, uh, so to speak, or a pat on your back. You're doing it because you know you you are, um, you know, you you find you find pleasing Yahweh Shai beneficial or profitable. Okay, and like I said, in in my in my case, you know, I'm speaking for myself. You know, I account me being alive. I account me being in the situation that I'm at, whether I'm low or whether I'm high. Okay, uh, all through, uh, all because of serving Yahweh Shemashah, and he's he's taking care of me. Okay, and and he's taking care of other brothers, and you know I encourage other I encourage brothers to be more diligent in doing the work of Yahweh Shemashah because you're going to find profit in that. You're going to find that the Lord, he's going to give you peace of mind. He's going to uh, uh, take you or get you out of the situations that you're in. Okay, whether they be financial, which that's a big hurdle for a lot of brothers uh, financially or women. Okay, he's going to save you from all the things that, you know, uh, a regular Jake or regular Israelite can get trapped up in. Okay, are you, uh, you worrying about um, multiple things? You know, the Lord, he'll give you peace of mind because he, he'll show you that he's with you. Okay, to the point to where you're not, you don't even blink, you just keep going forward, you keep pushing forward, and that's the spirit that we should be in, and that's the spirit of trusting and believing in Yahweh Shemashai, and that's the spirit of knowing that the Lord is, is serving the Lord is profitable, which two-thirds of our people don't find an eccentric value of serving the Lord because they don't see, okay, uh, uh, so-called money going into your bank account. Which that's a lie, cause I literally, literally, I was praying, <laughs> and the Lord, it was so crazy. Like you can't make it up, okay? It was so crazy, and there's many. If I really, if I, if I dwell and look back on it, all right, uh, I can never, I can never say that Yahweh Shai has forsaken me, okay? And you can never say that. Also, the the Most High, He puts, He does part of His deal. We just have to do part of our deal, okay? So we have to follow our cross. We have to deny ourselves. And that's one thing a lot of men, they don't want to do is deny themselves. Okay. We don't have anything here. So it should really, it should be easy for whosoever, verse 35, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, uh, the same shall save it. So ultimately, really, this is profitable because you're going to save your life in the long run. Okay, because we know we know the the future of a of Babylon. We know that there's going to be before the nuclear missiles. There's going to be all chaos on the planet Earth, and your life is going to be, you know, um, <clears throat> your life is going to be, you know, uh, uh, you're going to have no assurance of your life if you don't serve Yahweh Shemashai now. Okay, so not only is He taking care of you now, but in the time to come, Jacob's trouble. The Lord is going to put you under his wing, okay, and save you. You're going to eat. You're not going to suffer famine, okay? You're not going to suffer pestilence, 
you're not going to suffer the things that are going to fall upon a planet Earth. Okay, and things are happening now. You're going to be protected in your in your uh, daily walk, which your daily walk is going to be, you know, a straight gate. Okay, it's not going to be pleasant. Okay, um, all the time. You know, it's going to, you know, you're going to feel uncomfortable. Okay, this is all part of the punishment that we have to, uh, we have to bear. Uh, you know, Micah seven nine talks about bearing the indignation of the Lord until He, you know, He pleads our cause, and the Lord is pleasing our cause by, you know, punishing the wicked. Uh, verse thirty six: For what shall a man profit, or what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So we we lose our life in this in this life, meaning we we don't we don't follow after riches, you know, the deceitfulness of riches. We don't follow after, you know, glory or recognition in this society. But we, you know, we um we submit ourselves to the will of Yahweh Bashamasha, just as Yahweh Shai, he submitted himself. So if we submit ourselves to the Lord, um <laughs> the Lord will take care of us. Okay, that, that's and that's clear as day. The Lord, He will uh, provide for us all the things that we need, and we don't we don't ask the Lord for excess. We ask the Lord for um, for things. Uh, uh, we ask the Lord for how does how does the scripture say uh, our daily bread? Let me bring out another scripture because really, you prospering in this society, okay? Which you know certain brothers have more than others, you know, but. You know, we really, we really don't have enough. We really, if you, if you find what you have, you know, uh, more than what, more than, uh, or you find what you have, you know, uh, of great substance to the point to where you don't want to let go of it, or you're, if you're comfortable, you're in the wrong spirit, okay? If you're comfortable in this society, but really we should be comfortable, okay, in Yahweh Bashimah Shai. OK, meaning content, content in what he gives us. He gives us our daily bread. He he allows us to push this word. OK, and that's really our goal here is to push the word of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Because look, when we enter into the kingdom, the Lord's will, we are part of that number. We're not going to have to do this anymore. It's not going to be any work. It's going to be all play. OK, meaning it's going to be all we're not going to have to suffer. OK, uh, anything we're not going to have to suffer. You know, uh, these bodies, meaning we're not we're not going to be in pain. We're not going to be under our enemies. OK, we're going to be on top. So now. Now is the time to work. Now is the time to deny yourselves, because the Lord really is going to give us all the pleasures of our heart when that time comes. And I'm going to get that scripture. Actually, act, actually, since I said that, let me just bring it out since it's convenient at this particular time. <clears throat> this is Psalms 37. And four says, you know what? Let me start at three. Trust in the Lord and do good. And what is doing good? Our doing good is preaching the words of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Okay? That's that's doing good. Let me bring out a scripture real quick. This is uh Isaiah 52 and 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bring up good tidings. Okay, and that's the gospel. So the Most High, He's equating you to being beautiful for doing that. Okay, that publishes peace because ultimately, really, when you really go into the doctrine, you really go into what we say. Uh, 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 you know, aside from all the inflammatory words or the, that these wor the world would say that we we push, really, it's about peace. It's about peace to the elect. Okay, peace on earth. But we know before peace comes, the war has to come. Okay. You can read about that in Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. Okay, every time to every every time has a season, and we're in a season of hate, and we're in a season of uh, of war. But really, we're in a season of of peace. Also, peace to the elect. Okay, that's what we push out: is peace to the elect, peace of mind. Okay, that bring up good tidings of good. So really, that's doing good is bringing good tidings of good, which is doing what. Uh, speaking the words of Yahweh Bashem Shai unto the uh, unto the hopeful elect, because really, if you think about it, as the scriptures say, this word is like a medicine. Let's bring that out real quick. 
This is a uh, Proverbs 17 and 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. So when you preach good tidings, let's go back real quick. In Isaiah 52, when you preach good tidings of peace. Okay, let's read it again. How beautiful upon the mountains of the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. So a good tiding, if somebody comes and bring you good news, that's what good tidings are. It will do what? In a state of, you know, a, a morning, it will lift up your mood. So really, when you watch these videos, all right, these videos are a form of therapy, okay? The, that publishes peace. So we publish peace to you in a, in a society full of war, in a society full of hate towards you, okay? You, you're not accepted in society. You look down upon in society, okay? You are a second and third class citizen, okay? It's going for you Israelites. That bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith to Zidon, thy power reigneth. So we, we tell you that Yahweh Shemashai reigneth, that he's going to come and deliver us, and he's going to come and save us, okay? And what does that do? That, that heals you, okay? This word heals you. Okay, just as Proverbs 17 and 22 says, a merry heart doeth a do of good like a medicine. And we're not talking about merry heart, okay, in a club, because really, okay, after after uh after clubbing, after drinking comes what? Sorrow. Heaviness of heart, as the scriptures say. But really, you can't have a heaviness of heart, okay, when you hear good tidings, or when you hear that. Your enemies are going to be taken down. When you hear Yahweh Shemashai is going to save you, he's going to deliver you. When you hear that, you know, uh, serving the Lord, you know, uh, uh, using your body as a sacrifice is profitable. Okay, because we're all, we are all storing up riches in heaven. Okay, but a but a broken spirit dry up the bones. Okay, and, and you see uh, two thirds of Jake, they're, they're in a broken spirit. Why? It's because they can't receive these good words. These good words are not medicine unto them, okay? What's, these words are, are what? These words are Yahweh Shai, okay? Which is the what? He's the, he's the physician. He heals you, okay? So as this word heals us, that's, that's part of this word being profitable. That's part of the word, that's part of serving Yahweh Shai. That's part of it. It's the Lord Yahweh Shai healing you, Okay? All right, you, you're being healed every single day when you cleave unto the Lord, you cleave unto his words. Okay, you build up faith. Because we know that, that faith is going to be the stability of our times. Okay, and, and you have men that are unstable now. Their equilibrium is all messed up. They have no stability. Okay, they're, they're tossed to and fro. Because they did not, you know, uh, put Yahweh Hashem Shai first in his work. All right, they did not find... You know, doing videos, you know, going out on the highways and hedges or, you know, even sacrificing. You know, Jake doesn't want to sacrifice, you know, time, time. And, you know, time is money. OK, so everything correlates into each other. OK, time is money in the most high. He values time. OK, he values your time, basically, meaning your time is worth is worth something. So either you are worthless in his eyes. OK, because you don't find serving him profitable okay financially okay uh, uh economically okay spiritually are you you do things at your time at your speed when you should be doing things in haste at the speed of yahweh shema shai okay and you're going to find great profit by doing that okay uh like i said you're going to have peace of mind okay because really that's what that's all that we can't that's all we have here in this society we don't have any wealth we don't have uh, a standing army we don't have a uh, uh, multitudes of women, you know, people are not, you know, beating down our door trying to find out what, find out, you know, uh, who we are or what we're speaking. Okay, this is a small sanctuary amongst a world full of demons. Okay, and sometimes you can get down in spirit, but as we read in the scripture, Proverbs seventeen and twenty-two, okay, the heart, no, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, and the only way to receive these words or to, you know, give medicine to the body. Is to preach these words. So you're actively, you're a, a physician also. Okay, you're a savior also. We are all saviors. Okay, just as the book of Obadiah says. And let's bring that out, you know, somebody gets stupid. 
and, and, and you know, try to trip me up in my words. Obadiah 1 and 21, and saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord. So we are also saviors, okay? And us, us preaching this word is going to hide the multitude of sins, as the scripture said. Let's bring that out real quick. And that's, that's big. Okay, that's very that's that's very profitable. Okay, just think about all the things that you have done against Yahweh and Mashiach, because we sin only against the Heavenly Father. Okay, so and we know we know the uh, the outcome of sin, or we know the punishment of sin, which is what death. Okay, and the Lord he he can kill you gruesomely. Okay, he can embarrass you, he can make you a paraplegic, or he can give you up to the devil. Okay, you can be in some type of dungeon somewhere. All right, this, this world can be scary. Okay, the Lord hands you over to the, the left hand side. That's why we are so, you know, uh, adamant about serving Yah Bashim Shai. And we know that serving him, you know, it, it reaps a, a great benefits. Uh, this is James 5 and 20. Let him let him know that he was converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death. And shall hide a multitude of sins because we sin every single day because we're in these 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 defiled crepit bodies man you know these corruptible bodies that are subject to sin so in, in order for us to hide those multitudes of sins we preach the word okay which is profitable unto our life okay this is a life and death situation you know and the lord he honors what we what we do what the, the sacrifice the little the little sacrifice that we do do which Lord don't need us, okay? Which this is all, you know, uh, let me bring that scripture out real quick. I believe that's uh, Luke. This is uh, Luke 17 and 10. So likewise ye... When ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, and, and preaching this word is commanded, okay? And you should be in the spirit of going above and beyond for Yah Bashim Shai. We are married unto Yah Bashim Shai. So if you have a wife, okay, and your wife is going above and beyond the call of duty, would you not entreat her? Would you not entreat her well? Would you would you would you forget your wife that's you know making sure you come home, she's rubbing your feet. She has a bath prepared. She has dinner prepared always on time. And then she's going above and beyond for you. She'll wake up before you even go to work, have your clothes ironed. What, what, what would you do for that woman? Would you go above and beyond for that woman? Okay, so Yah Bashim Shah, he'll go above and beyond for you. If you, you know, you go above and beyond for him and, and do the things that he wants you to do. Even though, let's read the scripture. So likewise, ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded of you. So this is actually a commandment for us to do the things that the Lord wants, meaning videos, meaning, you know, uh, um, you know, preaching, exhorting, you know, reading, meditating, you know, praying, if, praying, which is essential, fasting if we need to say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that, which is our duty to do. So even though you go above and beyond, even though. You serve the Lord. We're we're still unprofitable servants, and you can't uh and you can't forget that you know. So that 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 makes you you know uh, uh throw away pride. Oh, this this is what I do. Look what I do. Well, look. We're supposed to do all these things. At the same time, the Most High, through the foolishness of preaching, let's bring that out. The foolishness of preaching, he's going to save the uh, the elect. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 1. Let, let me. This is, uh, I'll just go right to the point. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 18. For the, the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. So those who don't believe, this is foolishness unto them, which really it is, okay? The Most High doesn't need us to, <laughs> the Most High doesn't need us to do this, but, you know, this is, 
what he set up and this is what he deemed as pleasing unto him okay if you if you ever knew how to please the most high your whole life your see when you wake up in the morning it shouldn't about it shouldn't be about how can i please myself which you can you can uh you know oh i can deal with i can deal with a woman now that's pleasing unto myself i can eat some good food that's pleasing unto myself i can lay in bed that's pleasing unto myself we're gonna just be lazy Okay, I can just go out on a trip. I can do whatever I want. This this world teaches you I I I I I I. Okay, this is, this is not a time for I I I. It's a time for Yah Bashem Shai and his flock. And then, once we enter to the kingdom, which we're going to get all those scriptures, the Lord He's going to give us the pleasure of our heart. Then it's going to be about us. Okay, even though we're still going to be you know serving Yah Bashem Shai, we we all we're going to do is just have fun and. And praise Yahweh Bashim Shai for eternity. Okay. Now, what's required of us now is to uh is to you know put in put in the work, you know, put in, you know, uh uh the, the hours, the long, you know, agonizing hours, so to speak, you know, uh in you know pushing out this ministry, you know, developing, you know, um, or I should say growing, uh growing your fruit, growing your tree. Okay. For the foolishness of the cross is to them that perish full uh, to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of the Most High. So this is uh, the power of Yahweh Shai, and see how much power, okay, this word has to where this word is is uh, throughout the four corners of the earth waking up the elect. Okay, and that's how this place is going to be destroyed. Okay, and that's profitable to be part of that business because you're going to receive a great reward for partaking in the labors. Okay, what's the scriptures say that the Lord is not, you know, unrighteous to forget our labor of love because this, you know, this is a, a laborious or to, or as the scriptures say, lab laborious, which means hard working. This this takes this takes hard work. Okay, and not in a sense of actual labor. Like going out there being a day labor, you know, digging ditches, you know, mixing cement. But this is more so, you know, laborers in the spirit. Okay. Hebrews 6 and 10, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Okay, the so-called white man, he'll he'll have you work and he won't even pay you. Or he'll pay you a wage that's not even, you know, you can't even live in the area that you're working. Okay, you got a super commute. Okay, or ultra commute to get into the area to, to work amongst the rich. Okay, which he have showed towards his name. So this is all for the name of Yahweh Bashimashai, for his work, for his ministry, him and his son. Okay, and by doing that, all right, he's not going to forget your work and labor of love, which would mean that actually serving him, going above and beyond, okay, is profitable, okay, unto you. Okay, and it's not necessarily okay. You you receive okay, you okay you you put in eight hours. Okay, you're gonna receive this check. No, it's not like that. Okay, which the Lord He does provide for you. You know, uh, certain um mon things monetarily because He knows that we need all these things. Okay, but that is not our end goal. We're not looking to be rich in this world. We know that this world is gonna be destroyed, and we're looking for the world to come. So we're laying up. You know. You know treasures in heaven and also we are doing what we were commanded to do okay and by doing all that we 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 uh we fall in love with doing this so this is also a labor but it's also a labor of love and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister so this whole thing is about serving okay so when we do videos it's about serving the flock of yah Shai, just as Yahweh Shai, he asked Peter, he asked Peter, do you love me three times? And he said, feed my lambs, feed my sheep, feed my flock. That's how you show Yahweh Shema Shai that you love him. That's how you show Yahweh Shai that you love him. That's how you are considered a disciple of his. This is uh, John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. See? So if you say that you love the Lord, Oh, I love the Lord. You know, you have a lot of Jake to say that, but you really don't love the Lord. It shows in your actions. And 
which shows that you don't find doing this profitable. Okay, and this is not a labor of love. This is an actual a labor. This is this is laborious to you. Okay, in a in a negative way. Like, damn, I gotta do a video. I gotta do three videos. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Oh, you know, once it starts, once that start, you know, uh, happening, you start following to you start follow falling into a very bad place to be. You don't want to be in that place. Okay. Let's go to uh, Psalms 37, you know. Psalms 37, it says in, uh, in 3, it says, Trust in the Lord and do good, so thou shalt dwell in the land, and thou shalt be fed. See? So the Lord, he's going to feed you with food convenient for you. He's going to give you all the things that are necessary for you to continue, okay, in this marathon, okay? For enduring. Delight yourself also in the Lord. And how do you delight yourself in the Lord? Is by cleaving unto him. Okay? Because you, you'll see that the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, he takes care of you. And like I said, I, I keep bringing this up in my situation. Okay, he will, he will only have to be dealing with you if he's, you know, pretty much, you know, having miracles happen. Get, getting you out of certain situations that will seem, you know, that there's no, you know, there's no opening in sight. You're like, damn, I, I like, <laughs> how the hell is this going to happen? How, 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 how can I get out of this situation? And then the Lord, he'll come, he'll come to you. Okay. And this is all a test to see if you are going to deny him. Okay. Or are you going to trust in him? And the more you trust in him, the more he, he reveals himself unto you, which builds up your strength, builds up your faith, which proves to you that you know, actually serving him, you know, um, bowing down to his will, you know, bowing down to the will of Yah Basham Shai is, is a profitable thing, okay? And Jake, two-thirds of Jake, they believe profit is, is all about, you know, uh, actually Federal Reserve notes, okay, blue hundred, blue hundreds, okay, being able to, you know, splurge, you know, uh, at, the, at the, the car lot or at the mall, or I drop 10 bands at the mall, or I'm able to have this chain so I can, you know, I can woo and dazzle people. I can get this, get this woman. They feel that that god godliness is gain. I'm sorry. They feel that you know. Um, I forget exactly how the scriptures it says that obtaining richness, riches is gain. I forget exactly how you know. It's like it's. They believe that gain is godliness. There you go. The water. They believe gain is go godliness, mean, meaning financial gain, which the Lord spiritually, you know, gives us a, 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 a gain. You know, he comforts us. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So the Lord is going to take care of you and even give you some of the desires of your heart in this, you know, in this uh in this in this captivity, but really it's talking about, you know, the kingdom of heaven. And the Lord is going to give us the kingdom of heaven if we, you know, delight and trust in the Lord. We delight ourselves in the Lord. And the Lord is delighted when we, you know, when we sacrifice ourselves and we, you know, we submit to his will and feed feed his flock. Okay, that's that's part of the deal that the Lord has given us. And really, when you look at it, what the Lord is going to give to us and the amount of you know, work that we, <laughs> you can't even call it work. Really, it's it's really, it's a, it's a gift. Okay, really, it's, it's the most high. He made a promise, okay, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? And we're going to fall into that inheritance, but there's certain stipulations, uh, rather, that we have to go through to be able to be part of the first fruits. You know, and be part of the first fruits, that's a heavy, heavy lot. And that's a heavy, great responsibility that you have to, uh, you have to uh, bear, you know. It says, commit thy way unto the Lord. So you have to commit your whole way into the Lord. Okay, if you're half assing one foot in, one foot out, what does the scripture speak about that? Okay, uh, Revelation, the third chapter. Yahweh Shai said he'll spew you, out of, spew you out of his mouth since you are lukewarm. So you're supposed to commit your way unto Yahweh Shema Shai, okay? Fully, trust also in him, okay? 
and he shall bring it to pass. So the Lord is going to bring all these things to pass. Okay. So yeah, it is profitable serving Yah Bashem Shai. He's going to protect you in a time and in, in now. He's protecting you now. Okay. He has the angels around you now. Okay. Uh, making sure that you know you 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 you're not suffering any loss. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, you're not harmed. All right, you're yeah, you're gonna go through many things. Okay, you're gonna the scriptures say Acts 14 and 22, okay, confirming the, the souls of the disciples that through great tribulation we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So yeah, we're gonna enter into the kingdom of heaven, but when you really analyze all these things, the most high has never forgotten us, and the most high has never uh left us out there uh, uh to be devoured by the so-called white man, okay, the devil, Satan. All right. So, you know, I wanted to do this quick lesson. You know, I can I can go on, but, you know, I you know, I think I hit the pro the point. I pray that you brothers will edify of this lesson. You know, keep serving Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, okay, until un until death, really, okay? That's the only way to go out in this thing is for the most high to, to call your spirit. And that's the type of, uh, that's how you should tackle things. That's how you should, that's your outlook on things is to serve the Lord first. And then the Lord, he's going to take care of everything else, okay, monetarily, okay, uh, um, you know, if you're dealing with issues with your woman. And the Lord, he'll he'll make all them things, you know, pretty much self-correct themselves, okay, or you have more understanding of the situation because you're delighting yourself in the Lord, or right, you're committing your ways unto Yah Basham Shai. And by committing your ways into Yah Basham Shai, he's going to, you know, um, He's going to take care of you, okay, and 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 ultimately, overall, it's going to be very profitable for your soul, okay, because if you if you you know uh, uh, obtain wealth in this society, what what profit is it? Because in order to obtain that wealth, okay, or those women, those cars, those clothes, you have to sell out, and then then you're going to die, okay, you're going to die a horrible death, and who wants that? So we have to just suffer just a little bit longer. Until the Most High rips the so-called white man out of power, okay. Let me read this, and I'm still in the same chapter. This is Psalms 37 and 34. Wait on the Lord and keep His way, and part of His way is pushing out, you know, feeding feeding the flock of Yah Bashem Shai through these videos, and He shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. And that's part of, you know, the profitable business of, of, of serving Yah Bashem is is the Lord, you know, uh, exalting you. Okay, and you seeing your enemies fall before your eyes. Okay, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he shall, yet he passed away and lo, he was not. Yea, I saw him, but he cannot not be found so we're going to see that we're going to see the so-called white man totally not be found meaning he's going to be exterminated he's going to be under the feet of of the israelites <gasps> okay and we're going to be we're going to be uh, uh, above all nations and that's part of the prophet of serving yah basham al shai what did what did uh he tell yah al shai he says ask of me and i should give thee the heathen for thy inheritance okay you all you have to do is ask the lord and in Revelation, the second chapter, Yahweh Shai said that he will give us the heathen for, for, for our inheritance, so to speak, because we are joint heirs with him. So that's very, very profitable when you look at it, uh, uh, um, so-called, you know, in a financial or a monetary, a mon monetarily. OK, you will see that really this this prize or this, you know, this gift that we're going to receive is not even comparable to the amount of work that we are going to put in. OK, this is uh, Romans 8 and 16. I'm sorry, 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Why is because the Lord is going to raise his own high because we have been faithful in little. The Lord is going to give us uh, much. OK, to be over. OK, and the things that we're going through now, OK, should not separate us, separate us from, you know, a servant that Yah Basham Shai or deter us from thinking that serving him is unprofitable. The, the Lord said that he's not unrighteous to forget our, okay, our labor of love, meaning he's going to pay us. We're going to be, we're going to receive a payment. Okay. And that payment, it starts now by actually him, you know, keeping us in his, 
in his um in his spirit, keeping us of a sound mind of understanding, you know, keep keeping us in the body, you know, uh, us able to you know eat, us able to you know uh, drink, you know, the Lord He give us money to drink, you know, you have wine, you might have some strong drink, you know, He'll give you the ability to watch TV, you know, He'll give you you know downtime, and then sometimes you know you're going through you know you're going through the mud, so to speak. He'll drag you through the mud, but that's all part of the will of Yahweh Shemashai to refine you, refine you. And you can't think of that as the Most High, you know, uh, uh, cashing you off, but really it's the Most High purging you. So it's really a win-win situation when, when, when coming to serve Yahweh Shemashai. And we have, to, we have to know that we have to humble ourselves, you know, and, uh, and, you know, cleave unto him. You know, so, I, you know, the Lord's will, you brothers were edified with the lesson. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Until next time, Shalom to the elect, death to America.